What is happening, collectors? I bet you never thought you were gonna watch a video about Justin Bieber and Pokemon cards, but that's what today is. We are talking about the Tim Biebs. Yes, Tim Biebs and <laughs> Battle Styles, not Battle Styles, this is Fusion Strike. So we're gonna be opening up some Pokemon cards, and I just wanna tell you a little bit about Justin Bieber and the collaboration they had with Tim Hortons. For those that don't know, Tim Hortons is one of the largest coffee chains, donut chains in the world. In Canada, I, I wrote some stats down here. They have 40, over 4,200 locations in Canada, okay? And, and just to put it in perspective, just in Toronto, in Toronto, Ontario, uh, there is 173 locations just in Toronto. That's kind of mind boggling. So before I give you some of the more stats, and you're probably wondering, okay, what's a Tim Beeb? A Tim Beeb is a variation of a Tim Bit. And then you're probably saying, what's a Tim Bit? Well, a Timbit is a donut hole. That's all it is. It's a donut hole. But that is what uh, they are referred to in Canada as Timbits. Um, so we're going to be opening up some Pokemon cards. We're going to be talking about the Timbits. So let me just give you some other interesting stats about Tim Hortons. So Tim Hortons is actually now owned by Burger King. Oddly enough, they were purchased by Burger King a number of years ago. There are actually locations outside of Canada. There's a, a little over 600 Tim Horton locations in the United States. And to put it into perspective, Dunkin' Donuts, everyone knows Dunkin' Donuts. They're the biggest chain in the United States uh, that would be a donut and coffee chain. There is one Dunkin' Donut for every 38,000 Americans. In Canada, there is one Tim Hortons for every 8,800 Canadians. So we have a lot of them. We have significantly more. In fact, about three times as many Tim Horton locations than McDonald's. Also crazy. And then you're also probably wondering who's Tim Horton. Well, Tim Horton is actually a uh, NHL hockey player. He played for the Toronto Maple Leafs, uh, died tragically uh, early in his career, but he started a coffee chain and he only had a couple locations and he probably wouldn't have thought that would uh, it would be almost 5,000 worldwide. So enough talking about it. I, I want to just tell you a little bit about this. Um, about these Tim Biebs. And by the way, Justin Bieber, if you are watching this, this is a formal invitation from one Canadian to another. If you want to open up some Pokemon cards, hit up the Millennial Collector. My name is Mark, by the way. So we're going to try out. I actually only got two of the flavors because my kids like these two. They don't like the third one. So this first one here is a uh, regular just chocolate glazed donut, but, but they have a little twist to it. This is called a chocolate white fudge. Tim Beeb. So I'm just going to take a little bite here. Oh yeah. See? That's a good Tim Beeb. And this other wonderful one, in fact, I, I love, this was one of the greatest additions that Tim Hortons has made to their lineup. Uh, this one is called the Birthday Cake Waffle. Now they had birthday cake that they had created and then they obviously put this new batter on it. So let's just take a little bite. Oh yeah, that's delicious. You see, it's got like, it's a birthday cake. It's literally a birthday cake donut. Why has no one thought of this? And in fact, Tim Hortons, if you're watching this, make this into a full donut. No, no, just donut holes, no Tim Bits, no Tim Biebs. Make it a full on donut. So that's enough about Justin Bieber for now. I, you may or may not be a fan of his music, but it is undeniable that he is uh, pretty iconic. And uh, he is from the small town of Stratford, Ontario. So that is uh, a little small town success story there. So we're op opening up the Fusion Strike um, uh, Build and Battle Stadium. And I'm actually planning on using this. So uh, I, I would encourage you, if you have not subscribed already, please consider subscribing because there's going to be a video you're gonna see very soon on my uh, channel about the Battle Academy. So the Battle Academy, uh, my wife and I are actually gonna be opening it on the channel and we're gonna be learning about the Pokemon TCG. We've never actually played and this is gonna be an opportunity. So that's where actually one of these is perfect for beginners and people that wanna battle at home. So, uh, I mean, I probably should have saved it for that, but I really wanted to open it up. So you get some dice in here, you get four extra packs, uh, you get some uh, counters, a gigantic wad, of I think 121 energies because no random number than 121 although I'm sure there's a reason and then two build and battle kits 
I really did love these additions. I thought this was a very, very cool thing for them to add um, into the repertoire of Pokemon cards. So you know what, we're gonna save those um, and I'm gonna open up these bonus packs first. So here are the four pack arts, very, very cool. This is a difficult set to get a pull in. Uh, it's almost like one in five to get a uh, ultra rare. So hopefully we can get something really spicy today. Something that I need would be wonderful. Um, but we'll see. Hopefully maybe the Tim Beebs will bring me some luck. All right, here we go. Breloom, Cross Switcher, Garbodor, uh, Sizzlipede, Stuffle, Sandy Gast, Plusle, Jinx, and a Holographic Melmetal. Okay, all right, well, we got a Hollow. Now, I should mention, there's actually a third, as I mentioned earlier, there is a third uh, Tim Beeb that I did not get because my kids do not eat it, and that is the Sour Cream Chocolate Chip. And as I'm saying it now, that sounds really good. I should probably go get more, I think. And actually, um, there's, uh, it's, it's kind of crazy. I mean, Justin Bieber is a worldwide phenomenon. So it's not just Canadians that uh, listen to his music. Obviously, it's across the entire world. And there are, there's some merchandise. There's some toques, which is like a beanie um, that, you can, that you can get for the cold weather that we endure in Canada. And um, there's other, uh, kind of swag merchandise that you can buy and a lot of it is being resold for more than the retail because and rightfully so you can't a lot of people that are fans of Justin Bieber probably want some Tim Beeb merch so if somebody wants the box let me know I can send you the box that says Tim Beebs we got a Veltal reverse rare and oh yes what a good start a Mew VMAX Oh, this is actually a really good pull. I, it's not an alt art, it's not anything like that, but the new VMAX, I think it was worth about 15 or 20 dollars. That's a, that's a, that's a good, that's, that's a snag right there. Well, that's pretty good. We've had, a, we've had a good start. This has been a good video so far. We're eating some Tim Beebs, which I'm gonna maybe have another bite of that soon. And we are opening up some Pokemon cards, so that is always, always a good time. Yeah, kind of, a part of me wants to get like a Tim, a Tim, a Tim Beeb, uh, Toque or something like that, just because I think they are going to be collector's items, honestly, even though if they mass produce it. There's a lot of Justin Bieber fans out there. Seawallow Reverse and a Vicavolt. I know I do not have that card, so that's pretty cool. There we go. And you know what? For these little bonus packs, the, the four individual packs, I'm pretty pleased. I mean, I, I've got some cards that I needed, um, and the pulls have been, like, honestly, have been quite good see if we can finish with some style here and you know what in this set it's it has been tough i have yet to pull a secret rare um the gold card or or rainbow rare so maybe today we can knock that off the list puku muku reverse and a dragapult that's another card i probably need as well so this is good we got two hollows an ultra rare and a non hollow that i needed so that was actually a really good uh, set of four packs there. So there is the code card. Now we're gonna crack into one of these build-in battle boxes and we'll, we're gonna see what we're gonna do. All right, here we go. And uh, I do wanna say, down below in the comments, I want you to let me know which Tim Beeb sounds best to you. Is it the chocolate, let me, chocolate white fudge, birthday cake waffle, or sour cream chocolate chip? Let's leave a comment down below. I'd love to know what you guys think. And, and if you're Canadian or not, I mean, uh, do Tim Bits even sound good? <laughs> That's what I'd like to know. All right, here we go. We've got our pack. I actually forget what the uh, the promo cards are, um, the the pre-release cards. So let's find out. We've got a Oracorio. I don't have it because I've not opened up any of these yet. I know Real Breaking Nate would be so excited for for this <laughs> pre-release card. All right, and we've got all the pack cards. There we go. And historically, and it kind of has not proved true in the last few years, but these. Um, Pre-release kits often had like one good hit. That was better than a V card. Um, but the last, I don't know if I gave that code card out before. Um, and then here is this pack while I'm while I'm at it. Um, I, I yeah, they, there was historically always one good pull from from a box, but lately it just doesn't seem to be the case. So we'll see how it goes today. And I haven't I haven't been paying attention, but there are some. There's two common cards I need which is hilarious. I've opened up enough of the set that I should have it all by now. More Grim Reverse, and we've got a non-holographic Cloister. So really not starting uh, off well on this build and battle, but we got the bad, we got the bad pack out of the way first, so hopefully we can get something good here. I need to uh, pause. Are you okay? I'm just eating a Tim Beep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was a worthy break. Okay, here we go. 
Phalanx, Simisage, Dancer, Voltor, Pansage, Kufant, Gligar, Slugma, Pansage again, reverse. And it. Didn't I just. I just got that card, didn't I? Come on, two packs in a row. What? It's This is literally the largest Pokemon set of all time, and I just doubled up on the exact same rare back-to-back -back packs. So that's not that's not great. There we go. Can we go for three in a row? That would be the error box of all error boxes. All right, here we go. We're going to bring the fire, and it's not going to be a cloister. Wigglytuff, Phalanx, Quillfish, Tynamo, Glaring Meowth, we got Gossifleur, Panpour, Indeedee Reverse, and we've got a Breloom V with, what oh, was it there? It might have been damage on, yeah, the back of that card had a little bit of damage on it, but Breloom V, I'm pretty sure I've got it, but it's it's a V card, so see my theory of a, a better than a V is almost ruined unless the Bolton pack has a good hit in it. All right, last pack in this opening Bolton. You are gonna bring the fire here, hopefully, maybe something good. I will say I am very glad that they changed the uh, code cards so I can't see uh, if there's gonna be a hit or not from the one side. They used to be able to tell from both sides and you can't anymore. Snome and a Scent of Scorch. So that was a bit of a dead box. And as I mentioned, all the cards, regardless if it's a uh, white code card like this or black bordered code card, it says redeem there, where uh, before it used to say TCGO, um, and it doesn't anymore, so that's good news. All right, we are getting into the last one. Hopefully we get more than just that uh, Mew, uh, Mew VMAX. Wow, this one is really wrapped tight. You would think I'd be prepared with scissors or something, and I don't want to tell you how long it took me. I cut out a, a good amount of time in this video to get that plastic wrap off. Okay, here we go. Let's see, let's get something that's not Oricorio. And a drum roll. It is Deoxys. Oh, that's the one that I wanted to see because it has so many logos here. Fusion Strike, Single Strike, Rapid Strike, Fusion Strike. All right, and four packs, all the pack arts. I'm getting, clearing the garbage out of the way here. Okay, let's let's get something good. We need, bet, we need an alt art um, or a secret rare. That's what I'm hoping for here. Because um, there's honestly, I'm not going to be opening much more of this set. Um, it's too difficult of a set to complete, and I just never will. So I, I kind of am saving my pennies up for uh, the next set, Brilliant Stars, with, which is going to be pretty incredible. So, all right, here we go. Shelter. That's an angry shelter. Drillber, Shinx, a Bunnery, Toxel Reverse, and we're starting with a Corviknight non-holographic. All right, here we go. Let's. We just got the bad pack out of the way. Leaf Energy, Zorark, Simipore, Metapod, Totodile, Phantom, Snorlax, Dreepy, Snome, Schoolboy, Reverse, and we have got a Huntail. Again, I probably need that card, but that's two non hollows in a row. So there's a code for somebody. I do give away the code cards in all my videos, and as I mentioned earlier, if you have not, I would love it if you consider subscribing to this channel. I have got a lot of Pokemon videos, um, and for if you've enjoyed this content, please leave a like on this video as well. It does help me out. So, Cross Switcher, Croconaw. We've got Excadrill, Totodile, Bunnery with... Is that another Bunnery in the background? Yeah, I guess. No. Low Punny? No. Mine, Mindfoo? Mindfoo? I, I don't even know. Clobopus, Tynamo, Zorora. I really struggle with that one. Trevenant Reverse. And we've got a Crabominable V. I, I believe I have this one, but I guess it's another V card, so I'm like, good. All right, we are down to one pack. Bolton, it is up to you again. If not, these build and battle boxes were very lackluster. Uh, hopefully we've got something really spicy in this last pack here. All right, start. we're gonna finish with the Fighting Energy. Schoolgirl, Copper Jaw, or Copper Raja. Hmm. Onyx, Choodle, Shroomish, Klefki, a lot of keys, a Shrubbish, Charger Bug, and we're finishing with a Araquanid. Well, I can eat away the sorrows with a Timbeep. 